Welcome to this video for N4 Electrotechniques. And in this module, module three, uh, we'll be looking at AC circuit theory, which makes up 20% of the curriculum. And in this video, we'll be looking at sinusoidal waveforms. Now, just to show you how a waveform is generated, as a coil rotates 360 degrees, it produces a sinusoidal waveform. And in this case, we're looking at single phase AC. Um, as the coil rotates 360 degrees, what we find is that no lines of flux are cut at zero degrees, 180 degrees, and 360 degrees. In other words, there is no EMF generated at zero degrees, 180 degrees, and 360 degrees. However, when lines of flux are cut at right angles, maximum EMF is produced at 90 degrees in the positive half cycle and 270 degrees in the negative half cycle. Uh, for our sine wave, we need to know all the definitions that are related to the sine wave. You'll notice we have one sine wave here from zero degrees to 360 degrees and the time period in which it takes to complete this one waveform. We have maximum value at 90 degrees and maximum value at 270 degrees. To find the maximum value, it is the value at the highest peak of the sine wave. The instantaneous value are the smaller values occurring at specific instant on the sine wave. To define frequency, it is the number of cycles completed in one second. And to define the average value, it is the average value of all the mid-ordinate values taken over half a cycle. And to calculate that, it's 0,637 multiplied by the maximum value. The root mean square, abbreviated as RMS, is the DC equivalent that produces the same amount of heat in the same amount of time. And to calculate the RMS value, it is 0,707 multiplied by the maximum value. The form factor is defined as the ratio of the RMS value to the average value. Now, before we start our calculations, it's important to note that we need to convert radians to degrees. And just a little bit of background, one revolution equals 360 degrees, which is equal to two times pi times radians. Now, to simplify this, if two pi radians equals 360 degrees, uh, 360 divided by two will give you 180, and 180 divided by pi will give you 57,3. So to convert radians to degrees, we multiply by 57,3. Uh, for our equations, if we have uh, the letter E, it tells us we're dealing with voltage. If we have the letter I, it tells us we're dealing with current. So EM is the maximum value in volts. F is the frequency in hertz. T is time in seconds. And this little symbol over here is the angular velocity in radians per second and we must remember to multiply by 57,3. In this example, a waveform is represented by the equation E equals 100 sine 314,28, small letter T for time in seconds. To determine the maximum value of this EMF, we have a look at the equation over there, and you'll see it's 100 volts. To determine the RMS and average values, the RMS is 0,707 multiplied by the maximum value. And the average value is 0,637 multiplied by the maximum value. To calculate the frequency, we use the uh, radians of 314,28. Uh, and we divide by 2 and pi. It means that we have a frequency of 50 hertz. This implies that we have 50 cycles completed in one second. To calculate the period or time, it's one over frequency. So it's one divided by 50 hertz. And that means it is more common or two seconds. To calculate the instantaneous value of the EMF, 12 milliseconds after zero. Don't forget to convert milliseconds to seconds. So to calculate the instantaneous value after 12 milliseconds, we substitute all our values into the equation. We have a maximum value of 100. Our radiance is 314,28. And to convert that to degrees, we multiply by 57,3. And to convert 12 milliseconds to seconds, we can divide by 1,000. And that will give us 0,0012. 
Therefore, we'll end up with an instantaneous value of minus 58.9 volts. Right, in this question, what is the time that it would take to reach 55 volts for the first time from zero? So this means the instantaneous value is 55 and the maximum value is 100. And we substitute our values in here and we are going to calculate the time. Now, mathematically speaking, here's a multiplication sign. So if we take 100 across, it will become 55 divided by 100. Then we will take the sine across and it will become sine to the minus one and we have 55 over 100 and we have everything in our bracket left behind. So therefore time will be equal to sine minus one, 55 over 100 divided by two pi 50 and 57,3. This will give us a time of 1,85 milliseconds. In this very last question, we need to calculate the form factor to define the form factor, it is the ratio of the RMS to the average. So we substitute the RMS value and the average value, and we end up with a ratio of 1,11. To calculate the crest factor, it is the maximum value over the RMS value, and we end up with a ratio of 1,414. Right, thanks for watching this video for N4 Electrotechniques.